What's up everybody? Before I get into the unboxings, I do want to go ahead and wrap up a giveaway. This was a very quick giveaway that I ran for this DC Bombshells box, which was a Target exclusive. And you see that it does include a Batman pop and also a rock candy figure of Black Canary. So um, this was sent to me by a viewer, like I said previously, but it ended up being, you know, a double for me. And he was okay with me doing this giveaway. And again, I do appreciate that very much. But yeah, this was just a quick giveaway and only had a couple people to enter. So I'm not sure if people checked out, you know, before the video ended or some people just weren't interested. Whatever it may be, though, you do see the name of the winner here. And I will need the winner to reach out to me um, via my email address, which you can find down in the description. And it's also at the end of my Funko News videos as well. Um, after I confirm that it is you that I'm speaking to and I get your address, of course, I will ship this out. Obviously, it's going to be after Christmas. You know, we're right on the um, holiday at the time of this recording. But um, yeah, I want to get this box out to you as soon as possible. And thank you to the individuals that did comment, you know, relating to the giveaway and that actually followed the directions. I very much appreciate that. And there will be some other giveaway opportunities, of course, on my channel and on my um, Patreon as well. That's just my way to try to give back to people that have, you know, the community in general that has been so supportive of me and my channel. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxings here. So once again, I'm focusing here on the DC Artist Alley line, which is just amazing in my opinion. I'm really a big fan of it. It's been a big focus on my channel lately. And uh, the two statues that you see here of the Penguin and Catwoman, these are based off of artwork by an artist named Joe Ledbetter. And I wasn't familiar with his artwork until I actually saw his Artist Alley statues. And um, these were actually listed on my Amazon wish list. I did not prompt anybody to check out my list, but Queen Bee Customs, they're, they're just amazing. They're very supportive of my channel and I try to support them as well. And they just, you know, decided to send these to me out of the blue as a Christmas gift. And they sent the note here as well. It says, hey, Franklin, happy holidays to you and yours. Enjoy from Queen Bee Customs. So Queen Bee Customs, I really do appreciate this, um, you know, of course, if you follow my channel, you know that they look out for me. I try to look out for them. I think they do amazing custom work. I'm pretty sure right now they're taking a break from commissions because of the holidays. But um, definitely follow them on Instagram if you're not already familiar with them. Again, they do amazing work when it comes to custom Funko Pops. They are really top quality with it. I do want to give you all sort of a quick uh, size comparison here before I get to the actual statues. So I did go ahead and put a pop box here, you know, with the pop in it, obviously, right next to these, just to kind of give you an idea of exactly how large these statues are. And then because Queen Bee Customs was nice enough to send me the Penguin and Catwoman, I decided why not got to go ahead and get Batman as well. So yeah, I was able to go ahead and grab Batman and I actually waited, you know, to make sure I had him before. I did this video and you can see that the Batman box looks massive. It's basically the same size as the Penguin and Catwoman box together. So yeah, it, it looks incredibly large there. As a matter of fact, I was not sure of the scale of these statues when I first saw images of them. It was not until I watched a video by Nerdsmithing here on YouTube. And Nerdsmithing is another, um, you know, that's a, a individual in the community that you should definitely check out. Check out his YouTube channel. But he did unbox a variant of the Batman here. And when he opened it, I was like, wow, I had no idea that, um, you know, these statues were that much larger than pop figures. But, you know, it was very cool to see. And that really convinced me that I want to add these into my collection. So shout out to Nerdsmithing for sharing that statue. As far as, um, you know, this line is concerned, you see that there is a Robin in the mix as well. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of the Robin statues and figures that are out there, although I do want to get a Damian Wayne um, statue eventually. That is my favorite Robin, so definitely got to get that at some point. But um, yeah, in general, I'm not the biggest fan of Robin, um, you know, the different Robins. Uh, I, I just like the different interpretations of them a lot more, like, you know, um, I, obviously Jason Todd is Red Hood stands out to me a lot more than the actual Robin. But uh, yeah, so I'm not going to worry about the Robin, but I'm very happy to have the other ones here. Something I like about the way that these boxes are done is that you can actually, you know, like let's say you're in a store, you can actually open them up, you know, the front um, tab here and basically get a better look at the actual statue. I think that would help you out with your, you know, purchasing decision, basically, you know, if you really want to get a good look at it. And out of box, yeah, this, this is really impressive. Um, I just love, again, Joe Ledbetter's style. 
he does these really um sh like strong black lines it just gives it that very animation quality to it you know it feels very cartoonish but I, I just really appreciate that and like i said this is a totally different look at these characters because of course he is playing off of their names and you know their animalistic uh you know qualities i guess you would say but yeah th this is very cool and of course um you know he has his umbrella which is very easy to go ahead and put into the statue there and you know it has the poison gas coming out of it which i like the uh you know the the cloud of the poison there it is molded very well um i would say you know obviously you're you know watching this video you can't really get an idea of how this statue feels it feels pretty solid um it's not too too lightweight it's not too too heavy you know it just feels very solid i will say if some parts of it feel a little bit on the fragile side like you got to be careful with it i would be worried if i if i drop this i think there could uh you know be some damage to it but it feels very good quality overall so uh yeah i i definitely like the look of it um you know <laughs> there are so many cool details it's like the more i look at it the more i see details that really stand out to me I like the way that he's actually sort of uh, lifted up on his jacket. You know, it just gives kind of some motion to him. And it's kind of funny as, as well. Um, you know, he has the large beak there. And of course, you see the way that his face is color. I mean, it definitely gets across that he is, you know, the penguin as a penguin. And he actually has a nice hair sculpt as well, which is kind of difficult to see up under the hat. But I really do like the hat. I've always liked um, I just, I just like derbies on villains. I know it's a very classic thing. Maybe that's why I like it. But uh, yeah, I like the look of derbies on villains. And his is very cool here. And um, yeah, the different um, textures and everything, um, of course, you know, it's a statue. It's pretty solid all around, but it definitely conveys the idea of different textures, different cloths that he's wearing and everything. He has his big round belly. And I like, too, that his buttons look like they're about to pop on his outfit. Yeah, it, it's just all around a very cool statue. Um, definitely a mature statue as well. You know, he's got the cigarette in his mouth as well. But um, yeah, all around, I really do like this statue. I think it's very cool looking. This is numbered as well. I actually didn't notice it at first, but on the bottom it says here this is number 2,475 out of 3,000. But uh, yeah, this is still pretty easy to find if you are interested in it. I would actually say go to Amazon. Not I would I won't always say go to Amazon for collectibles, but Amazon has surprisingly, like shockingly good prices on this statue, and then also on the Catwoman here as well. And I do want to go ahead and take a look at Catwoman. Of course, we get that peak there from the front panel, which can be opened up. But yeah, definitely check Amazon if you're interested, at least in um, the, this particular line. I'm not going to say like even all the DC collectible statues that you'd want to go to Amazon. But yeah, these were just at a really great price. I know definitely way lower than some stores are selling and even some other websites what they're selling in that. And um, second market is insane for some of these statues, just to be real. Catwoman here looks surprisingly threatening, like even more so out of the box. Um, and I will say, if you're curious about it, the, the actual claws, they actually are kind of sharp. Like, I don't think they'd actually like cut skin necessarily unless you're really going out of your way to try to do that. But they actually have some sharpness to them. And like I said, she looks kind of vicious. Like she really is ready to fight. Um, she's got her sharp teeth out as well. And I think it's, again, sort of that cartoonish quality that you, you can kind of see that she has two teeth out on one side and just one on the other. On her tail, she has a diamond hanging there, which is a nice touch as well. Oh, I will say this. If you get this statue, be very careful taking it out because... I'm not sure why like the tail was um it was held in pretty tight in the packaging and there was a piece of plastic around it that was very difficult to cut and the tail does feel a little bit fragile so definitely be careful about that like i said if you get this statue and you decide to take it out which i don't think anybody would really want to keep these particular statues in box i think they definitely need to be displayed Something else that's nice about this statue is that it actually, you know, has some different details from different angles, you know, including from the back there, which I've said this about DC collectibles now many times that sometimes they do lack details on the back. But here you see that she has her um, other paw behind her and those vicious claws out ready to strike. You also see that she has like that paw print 
there within her hand the purple paw print which looks pretty cool might have been clever as well if she was actually like holding a a jewel behind her back and you know a diamond or something but um yeah just just her being ready to fight <laughs> yeah she, she's very vicious looking again this is numbered as well the number is kind of tricky to read i think it's like 608 out of 3000 i think all of these are numbered as 3000 but um yeah like i said th this is just a cool statue all the way around i really like the coloring as well definitely got to give props to the coloring on this and the paint job looks phenomenal with the grays and the black and the purple it, like, it just all blends together the blue as well especially around her neck it just all works together and of course, you see here that Joe Ledbetter, that his signature there is on the bottom of her foot. Um, I do have to say this one, and I don't know if it's because the stand um, that it's on is maybe not fully level, but she did feel like she wanted to tip over just a little bit. So I'll, I'll say if you're going to get this one and display it, just be kind of careful about where you position it. And now we're on to Batman. I do. I want to do a quick size comparison here. Again, next to the pop, you know, this Batman box really does look pretty large. But once I actually get the Batman out, it's still bigger than I, I thought it was when, you know, based off the first images that I saw of it. It's still larger, you know, than a pop figure, obviously, but not quite as massive as I was thinking, you know, the way that it seemed initially. But yeah, th this is very cool. And like I said, that, you know, being honest, it took a while for this look to grow on me because it's just such an unexpected interpretation of the character but this is just all in fun you know of course this is not meant to be like a quintessential batman or anything this is just one artist's interpretation of the character specifically for these statues so you know when you take that into consideration i think this is a pretty interesting collectible here um i definitely like how it looks like his outfit is not so much an outfit i mean it is obviously a costume but it looks textured as well there i think that actually is meant to be almost like um not feathers necessarily i guess almost like fur you would say but it definitely has that strong texture look to it he's got the classic batman logo a lot of the touches you expect with batman are still there especially that big scowl and the teeth are very huge as well so all around th this is really a cool statue now let me catch myself though i'm saying all around but i do have to nitpick about one thing about this statue the back of it looks very plain i mean there's just nothing much going on there of course it does have the number on there again you know which is to be expected you know that the number would be on there that somewhere you saw that from the other ones but um and this one by the way is number 489 out of the 3000 again it has the artist signature but yeah other than that it's just this big flat blue surface and yeah really not too interesting i wish something else had been done with the back of it even though again i know you mainly see statues from the front but i just think a statue is cooler when it has a lot going on from the different angles and one more size comparison here i actually went ahead and unboxed that pop seal you know you actually get to see these um well the pop in the statue right next to each other also this is a new pop into my collection so i wanted to go ahead and take it out and make sure i showed it in a video as well this is the um i believe they call it the joker's wild batman which is so simple but it's you know it's colorful at the same time i really do like the look of this particular batman so you know i got two more very cool batman collectibles into my um collect you know collection so yeah i'm very happy with both of these you know for different reasons obviously because they are pretty different from each other one more thing i got to say about the batman statue the nose as well is kind of funny to me you know the way that the nose look there there's some humor to it and yet it looks kind of vicious at the same time and i think that's what really brings about the humor is that it looks vicious and cute at the same time you know so yeah th this is a pretty awesome statue here and like i said i'm really happy to have all three of these now sorry robin i don't need robin but um yeah i'm really happy with these definitely let me know what you think about these what you think about the look of them is this something that you would be interested in adding into your collection i'm just you know as far as 2020 is concerned with collectibles i'm really looking forward to seeing what else comes out related to uh dc collectibles i already know that they have some awesome things on the way because i saw some things that were shared at the toy fairs last year but yeah i'm, I'm becoming a really big fan of dc collectibles and i'm going to keep on adding some dc collectible statues into my collection now i did mention earlier that there are variants at least of the batman i don't know if they did variants of the um other statues within this line or this particular um with this particular artist but you see these variants here of batman they have a glow in the dark one they have the um black and gold one there and then they have the pink one as well on the second market 
the prices are insane for these i mean you could look it up for yourself if you don't believe me the prices are like uh, even above funko pop grail prices like they are really up there so yeah i don't see myself adding any of these to my collection unfortunately but i'm happy with the ones that i do have and as far as Joe Ledbetter is concerned, I may actually check out some more of his statues. He does have some other statues and some minifigures out there as well. I may have to go with the minis to be honest because his statues, they can be a bit pricey. Although I have seen some kind of marked down from time to time on different websites. I know he has had some work on Kid Robot's website. I've even seen a couple of his statues on Hot Topics website. So yeah, if you're interested in Joe Ledbetter, if you like his style, definitely look around and see what you can find. Uh, the minis, definitely the most affordable thing to go for. And I think there actually are some minis based on his larger um, statues as well. So definitely something to look into if you like this particular style but that is going to do it for this unboxing video again thank you so much to queen bee customs for the very awesome and surprising christmas gift i really do appreciate it um you know you inspired me to go ahead and grab the batman you know to go along with this set so yeah that that's really kind of you i definitely do appreciate that again i want to hear from you all what you think about these particular statues here especially if you are a dc fan give me some feedback on them Thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video and I will talk to you all again real soon.